Hello everyone, I'm Laura Waldridge from Angelwood Therapies. Um, so I'm here just about to start day three of a four day training course in gentle touch reflexology. I'm absolutely loving it, loving every day and um, can't believe that I'm already halfway through the course already. So those of you that do know me know that I am already a reflexology practitioner um, and know that those that know me also know how much I love absorbing and learning new information and techniques. Um, I find that, um, you know, to be able to grow as a therapist is really beneficial for everybody, all the clients that I see. But also, you know, I'm, I love being a learner, being in that position and just um, growing my knowledge. Therapies and reflexology in particular is one of my passions. So I just absolutely love what I do. I want to just learn as much as I can about it. So it's just as much for me as it is for my clients. Um, the reason why I've done this video today is to introduce gentle touch reflexology and why I've come onto the course and what it's all about. And just to help me sort of recap and, and refresh as well. Um, so gentle touch reflexology, what is it? So for those of you that haven't heard of it, it is a form of reflexology, 100% you still get all of the potential positive effects um, that clients can achieve from standard um, reflexology. Um, it is soothing, it is relaxing for most people. It is um, a very therapeutic treatment. But what it isn't, it isn't a cure for all. Um, it isn't a form of diagnosing. I still am unable as a reflexologist to diagnose. It isn't, however, deep and painful. So deep and painful reflexology can be beneficial and a lot of people prefer that method. Um, but what I found through my experience personally, um, as a client, but also as a therapist, that pressure um, doesn't necessarily indicate effectiveness. So it doesn't have to be a deep pressure to be effective. And um, because we are energetic beings, as well as emotional, mental and physical beings, um, gentle touch reflexology encourages us to pay closer attention to what's going on energetically during a treatment. So it has those same potential, same positive, wonderful effects that we that we all get in our own individual way from reflexology. Um, but it is gentle, it is soothing. And actually I found by this approach and taking the more gentle approach to providing reflexology that it is actually deeply powerful. Um, obviously it's one of those things that might not suit everybody but particularly for people that maybe suffer with more chronic maybe more pain and tender related um, conditions then they might you may find it more enjoyable you may find that this is an, a therapy that you can actually tolerate better than some of the deeper forms of reflexology or deeper th forms of therapy because we don't apply the same pressure. So for a client, you know, most people get into are able to get into a deep form of relaxation and then can get into that place where they can initiate healing changes within themselves, which is what all holistic treatments is all about. Um, it doesn't come from us, it always comes from you. Um, therapists always are there to provide that space and that opportunity. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. From a therapist's point of view, um, as a traditional reflexology can be more pressure focused, as it, which is absolutely fine and is, is, and is a choice. But um, from a physiological point of view, to provide a vast amount of treatments using a lot of pressure, using fingers, thumbs, and wrists, but mainly for reflexologists, fingers and thumbs, all day, every day, or for years, 
that means that there's going to be wear and tear, risk of repetitive strain and permanent damage to fingers and thumbs, which means that I won't be a I wouldn't be able to share reflexology for um for as many people as I'd like. I must admit I have been fortunate in my practice. I don't think I've ever would be considered um a very, very deep reflexologist in terms of pressure. Um anyway. And luckily so far within my sort of 14 years or so of practicing um my hands and my wrists have held up quite well um but sort of thinking more long term you know this method of being able to practice reflexology um is much more um effective and meaning that i could carry out this career for a lot longer as well so there are benefits to clients and there's also um, vast benefits to me as well. Um, so that is another reason. Um, another reason for gentle touch reflexology is because of the approach. It means that there are far, far less contraindications to reflexology um, than with tra traditional. Um, so more people that maybe would have had to have been GP referred, um, it may not be necessary now just because of that gentle approach but that doesn't mean that I that I don't use caution that I don't adapt the treatment that I don't look at you sit you know your individual circumstances and make a treatment plan um, together that is in your best interest that will still always be at the forefront and at the heart of everything um, that I do regardless of the different skills or the adaptations that I make to the treatments upon time so you'll still get that individualized personalized appropriate and safe um, therapy but it is really good to know and that you know all these extra sort of contraindications are, are generally not um, are not contraindicated anymore so um, it means that it takes the pressure off you, it takes the pressure off me and it means that you know you can go into a space where you can just really enjoy. So that is the reason why I've come on this course and um, it's run and taught by the fantastic Sue Ricks. Um, she sort of has developed this therapy based on her own experiences um, as a reflexology practitioner and as an energy worker. And um, I trained with her last year in the more sort of palliative care, complicated health, um, the CPD therapy training that she, she, she provides and got introduced to the gentle touch approach and just really wanted to learn more because I was just sort of blown away um, by how effective it was when I got in the couch to have the techniques demonstrated on me so one of the other attendees um, could see what it was like I just couldn't believe within such a short space of time I don't know those 10-15 minutes um, that I was on um, receiving the therapy um, how much of a difference it made and how subtle but yet powerful um, the techniques were so um, I'll be obviously adapting my reflexology treatments um, after this course. Um, so for anybody that obviously comes regularly already and receives reflexology, um, I really think you're in for a great treat. Um, and for those of you that maybe haven't tried reflexology before, um, and maybe have been worried about the amount of pressure and would be interested in trying something that does um, encompass a more gentle and nurturing approach in that sense, um, get in contact. Um, you can private message me, um, email laura at angel-wood.co.uk or visit my website which will be updated um, in the near future which is www.angel-wood.co.uk so I'm Laura Waldridge, thank you for tuning in and listening and I look forward to hearing from you soon hopefully, bye.